All right, so obviously we got to ask Derek, what's it like to you know score such a big knockout win here in your hometown? Uh, it feel like a dream, you know. I don't even think I walked up here on my own two feet. So I feel like <laughs> I'm gliding on clouds right now. It feel good though. <laughs> The Why first round didn't really go your way. I mean, obviously, Pesta, he got quite a few takedowns. He got a little bit of ground and pound in. What was your mindset like going into that second round? Yeah. Um, I really wanted to rope with opening, so I was telling my coaches, okay, I got him, I got him. So I already knew what was the game plan, it was just to take me down and hold me down. And really, I wanted him to wear itself out, so all my, all my cars was on the third round. To finish in the third. So you weren't getting frustrated, sort of, especially no, early in the second round. I wasn't frustrated at all. I wanted to finish him in the third round, no matter what. So it yeah. worked out best for me. So, so with those couple of seconds coming down in the second round, though, you must have felt like you had him pretty close there, right? Yeah, I wanted to see how how it was going to end yeah. and come out strong in the third. Did you actually initiate initiate the the grappling at the beginning of the first round? You think like you went for a takedown or kind of? I really don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you managed to get into mount in that third round, you half to know it was over there, right? Yeah, I felt I felt the uh, the soul come out of his body, so I knew I had to finish him right there. I had my game plan work. And when the third round started, he looked a little bit fatigued. Like, did you feel like he definitely had the upper hand there in the third round? I had him, but I, I thought he was just trying to do his little poker face and come out still a little aggressive, but I seen when it's, once he stood up, I knew he ain't had no more fight left in him. Do you have friends and family here, and how do you celebrate this? Oh, I got all my family here, you know. I, I cut a bunch bunch of friends off because they kept asking for tickets, but I guess they're my friends again <laughs> since the fight over with. So it was a good feeling to fight in front of them too. In the interviews uh, earlier in the week, you, it was like you were a little bit unsure how long you could keep on doing this. You know, there was a lot of, you know, you were feeling nervous. There was a lot of pressure and such. After such a big victory, how do you feel about the rest of your career and the future? Uh, I feel pretty good about it. The only thing I don't like about it is just the nerves, the drilling, just be so exhausting by the time you step in the cage. And it's like, really, your game plan go out the window. But thank God I had a better enough game plan against an opponent like this. Did it help being first? With the nerves, just being um, able to go first. It helps being second. You know, I could see him, then see how he walk around the cage and this and that. It helps a lot. It's all mental game. Eighty percent mental, twenty percent physical. So it, it worked out best. Do you ever get any comfortable, or is it always it's, nervous? I always feel like it's the first fight. Always. <laughs> to me, I don't know why everybody else. But I always feel like it's the first fight. Have you found any tricks or anything, you know, the day before the fight to help you kind of manage that? Well, I try to daydream about my kids and think about how I want a better life for them and stuff like that. And that's like really the only thing that can really motivate me. And my coaches can't really pep talk me into doing something that I know it's not going to happen or nothing like that. So it's just my kids, you know, I think about them. Is that why your uh, coaches between rounds, they say do it for the boys? Yeah, do it for the boys because they already know it's my kids, my world. Yeah, that's what, basically what I do, do it for them So I want them to have a better life than I have. Is there anybody you have in mind for your next fight? Right about now, it really don't matter. You know, you know, we'll see. Hopefully I can fight sometime in December. That'd be good. Uh, it don't matter what opponent. Thank good luck. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you.